Mr. G. All right, welcome back. We're doing another home science project. project. Really what I want to do is teach you about the difference between aluminum and steel, right? So this kind of looks like it would be aluminum because it's nice and shiny and whatnot. But if you take a kitchen magnet and you stick it, look, it's going to hold it, right? Now this is a heat sink from a computer. Doesn't stick. This is an aluminum ruler. Doesn't stick, right? Uh, aluminum foil. Doesn't stick, right? So pick out some aluminum or copper if you had it, uh, and figure out how to make an ice cube melt fast. The idea is that you're not using any heat, no heat. This is a cloudy day, I'm not, nothing with the stove, no electricity, no heat, don't cheat and go like this, nothing, just the material, okay? Here's my experiment, I'm gonna show you all my ups and downs and failures and successes. By the end of this video, we should learn a lot about how to melt ice really quickly. Okay, let's go. So here's my first experiment. This is just glass, but I just took a little bit of a aluminum foil. There it is. I'm gonna start the stopwatch now. This is, uh, 38 minutes. This one looks almost done. This one's got a little while to go. This one's on the last legs. But I think I can make some improvements. So, and now not everybody has a heat sink, but look at this thing. That's a heat sink, and it is melting this thing like really fast. Look, it wants to fall off the thing. Dude, look at that. It's just eating it. This has only been like two minutes. Look at that, three minutes. The last one took 40 minutes. Look, it's trying to parallel park. Can't do that. You don't know how to parallel park, do you? Little piece of ice? What? Come on, you cold little sliver of ice. What do you know about parking? Well, you're doing a pretty good job, actually. Uh, I think you hit the curb. Oh man, you hit the curb. It's almost done. We're at four minutes and 40 seconds. What if we slide it over here? There. Ready? Watch this thing go. That's basically it. Just that one little spot left. And it's gone. Okay, that was about eight minutes. Eight and a half minutes. Let's just call it nine minutes with a heat sink from a computer. Ooh, it's cold. Really cold. All right, so uh, I'm gonna try it with aluminum foil because you might not have a heat sink, but that's the idea. How fast can you melt the ice? All right, give it a try. Okay, so what I did was I kind of just made with, um, you know, aluminum foil, I tried to copy the heat sink. You see, now everybody has this. By the way, this thing's still cold. Wow, it's so cold. There it is. I put it in the bowl. All right, here we go. Look how fast that's working. See, that one works a lot faster. This guy didn't do anything. It's still the same. I mean, it's kind of a little bit. All right, so new plan. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's not working. All right, I, I got a new one with taller. We'll see. All right, the aluminum foil is really difficult. It doesn't work. I don't know. I couldn't get it to work. Maybe you can get it to work. It's still kind of the same. That, that would take way too long. All right, I got a ruler. I'm going to try a ruler. There. Right away. It's working. You can almost see it boiling. Look. Look at that. Are you seeing that? Wow. That's how fast the aluminum works. Oh, I see. Hey, this is what's going on. The ruler now has, it's been saturated, like it's cold. So like it's cold here, like really cold. That means, so once the whole thing's cold, it's not taking heat out anymore. I guess that's why the, this works so well, because it's got all these uh, little surfaces. 
Imagine if I put this here. Look at that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, look, that side's melting more. Yeah, there it goes. All right, let's put it on the other side now. All right, so for my next experiment, I'm just gonna crumble this up. All right, let me get a piece of ice. Can we see it melting? Okay, let's see. No, barely anything, because it's like almost dry. Just one drop, maybe. Okay, I got another idea. Okay, what if we crunch it really tight, right, and make it thick? Let's try that. Ready? Here we go. Oh, that's working. I can see it. Look. Ready? Look at this. There. It's working. See that? All right, we're gonna try another one. We're gonna try another technique. This is my idea. Hey, what if we just use like the entire roll? But I don't mean waste it. Just use it like this. So I'm just gonna put it up against here. I'm gonna use two bowls in between. Take the ice, put it in there. Let's see how we're doing. Look at that. Look, that's working. There, we did it. There you go. It's the thickness. Look at the shape of the curve. Look at that. All right, we got one more experiment, okay? I don't know why I have this, don't even ask. Okay, boom, it's working. Look at that, look how fast that's going. The water becomes an insulator. So you gotta put something to take away the water. All right, so, conclusion. I think the conclusion is that you gotta have a napkin to take the water, because the water would hold it. Woo, this is cold. I mean, it feels like ice. This uh, aluminum pulls heat and moves it. That's why engines are aluminum. That's why they look like this, like a, like a motorcycle engine. The side looks like that, all right? So give it a shot, try and do a video and a time lapse. I mean, I don't know how you're gonna do that, but I'm sure you guys got iPhones or whatever. You probably got some fancy phone. Uh, my phone is just, a, I'm just using an S8, all right? It's nothing, no big deal, okay? I'm sure you have a better phone than I do. If you don't have a phone, just borrow a phone from someone in your household, all right? Give it a try. Uh, I really appreciate all the work you guys have been doing so far. Uh, you know, it's just to have fun and learn about materials. Uh, I still want you to do before and after, how, like how you did it, steps, maybe the different setups you did. And if you could get it to melt faster than 15 minutes, because that's what this took, uh, about 15 minutes for a tube that I didn't even unroll, so I'm not wasting any of it. You know, you guys could still use it. I'll put it back in the in the case no one will even know Shh. Okay, I'll just... yeah so just aluminum foil napkin just some stuff on the table to hold it all together and um, you know obviously if you got a heat sink use it no electricity 
no batteries, don't have to worry about anything like that. It's just to learn about how. So the winner, if you can, I mean, just try not to cheat, you know, obviously, but who could get it to go the fastest? I, my record is 15 minutes for the aluminum foil roll and about less than nine minutes for a heat sink. Let's see if you can beat that. All right, I'm Mr. G. You guys are students. Let's do this, all right? Enjoy.